in New Orleans. Is that how they say it? New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> experiencing a little bit of a trailer sway again and it's mostly when the the semi trucks pass us from behind and I don't really recall anything changing We've driven like 12,000 miles since we left in May so with that we go online to, to do a little bit of research and you know I, I like personally I like to stay away from some of the blogs and stuff that talk about trailer sway and they talk about they just talk about all the basics I'm interested in the specifics so now we are running with two-thirds water and maybe that is one thing that's changed like maybe I started like creeping up the fresh water as our plans became more uncertain like it would get to the point where we were leaving Key West and we had no idea where we were gonna stay the truck pulls the rig just fine why not just have more uh, more water someone said your water could be changing your tongue weight and if your tongue weight exceeds the 10 to 15 percent of the trailer weight you could be getting trailer sway well, that's a good point so I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to empty the water completely out and I'm going to see how it pulls then and then just kind of play around with it. Ooh, check out this bridge. Oh man, we're going to take a we're going to take a quick little break for a tunnel. How's the sway? Is it? Yeah. It is. It's, is it, I'm not getting. Did we have placebo? Did we have placebo water in the freshwater tanks, or is it really better? It really is better. Have it says a semi truck passed us since we yes, did this? Yes, several. Several? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna report back to Facebook that everything is a okay. Thanks for the recommendation. Oh hey, do you know the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? Yes. An alligator, we'll see you later, but a crocodile, you'll see in a while. to enter or walk down Bourbon Street with our kids on Halloween weekend. It's gonna be interesting. Cover your ears, cover your eyes. The boys are gonna grow up tonight. No, they're not. Are you kidding me? It's gonna make it worse. <laughs> And Caleb's like, I don't know what they're thinking, but they're throwing me down. <laughs> I'm taking it. To get off the crazy train, the further we walk down the street, the crazier it was getting. <laughs> Understatement. Some stuff we just couldn't explain.
it like it or not. I breathe them. You can't breathe them eating a beignet. There is a moment meant for us. And now you made it, but I already played this. Not interested. Open your eyes, let's get it done. Take my hand, just follow me. Shut up. Somebody, and I'm not gonna say who, I'm not gonna point fingers, but this somebody might be holding the camera, forgot to drop a pin of where I parked the car. It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, we're, we're lost. And now we can't find the car, and it's somewhere in New Orleans. So we've walked a mile, nothing looked familiar, which is weird for me. I usually have a pretty good sense of direction. Needless to say, uh, Carson and Caleb are taking this really well. Uh, I have a stabbing pain right here. That's Going down car. to here. Yes. Oh, well, finally! We're gonna do like a little drive. We're gonna see a plantation. We're gonna see the garden district. And a cemetery. And a cemetery. And then we're gonna park the car and we're gonna go walk the French Quarter before 6 p.m. If you have children, you should walk the French Quarter before 6 p.m. <laughs> Otherwise, you really just, all bets are off. You're just throwing the dice. That's what you're doing. I don't agree. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I think, I think it's children, making the boys mature. Uh, walking no. them past no. no, it's not. No, not, it's not, not our boys. Some boys, yes. Our boys? No. restaurant but they have martini lunches if I went to a martini lunch it would be my martini dinner because I would be like this I would just be sinking down below the table in case you guys are wondering as to why this is called Lafayette Cemetery number one even though there was a Lafayette Louisiana that is because this used to be known as Lafayette Louisiana in 1832 there was a plan for another city right next to New Orleans called Lafayette. It was meant to be the American city shortly after the Louisiana Purchase in 1803. awesome she did a fabulous job Gabby you are awesome so Gabby is a second generation tour guide her mom supposedly gets written up like nationwide so anyway they gave us she gave us she like all great. the really good information like how does this work how is a whole family buried in there and then she saved the juicy stuff for the end all the ghost stories and all of that Okay, we're leaving New Orleans. New Busy. Orleans. That was crazy. It was fun. It was. It was. Uh, kids liked it. They grew up a little. <laughs> in all the wrong ways. <laughs> all the right ways. Anyway, so now we're leaving, and this is like, we're as we're pulling out of the RV park, I say to Trish, well, put in Austin, Texas. It's kind of crazy when you're as far east as... New Orleans to put in Austin, Texas. It's about seven and a half hours. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think we're gonna do it in one shot. I think we're just no, gonna one get this. Shot. One, one shot. shot. These guys say one, one shot, shot in one like shot. five hours into driving, they're like, Mom, I'm tired. It's tight back here. Mom. Actually, no. Yeah. That's what 
at you guys, you're like, oh, Trish, I'm, I'm tired of driving. Come on, let's just stop at the nearest Walmart. And, they oh, are I need whining. my cup of joe for today. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Oh. Lies, lies. <laughs>